Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. Today we are going to design a simple PC fan or computer fan in SOLIDWORKS. We will make only two bodies and we will see how, how to make this animation or motion analysis in SOLIDWORKS. I wish you like it. So let's see how to do in SOLIDWORKS. Let's make the first part of PC fan propeller. So choose front plane, sketch select here circle and draw a circle with 30 mm diameter ok now select extruded boss we prefer to keep mid plane and extend up to 17 mm ok now here we want to create propeller f blades so for that we need to create three number of plate planes select front plane go to feature geometry plane now we will create one plane 8 mm in front of front plane make sure front plane yes now again choose front plane let's make the second plane flip side second plane behind the front plane ok now make the third plane choose right plane plane and keep 36 mm ok now this is the three plane so let's start one by one select first back plane sketch plane to we select line better choose center line ok select here line and we create the first part of fan make sure both the lines vertical corner lines and this both the lines should be parallel let's define the dimension 5 mm this line 12 mm and the distance from mid plane keep 36 mm ok now let's select the mid gap 0.5 mm now the this distance 7.68 mm now this is our required distance so simply exit from the plane 2 now see in plane 2 we created one geometry now select plane 1 A sketch normal again choose the same things line ok both the line parallel and this end line it should be vertical the same thing 5 mm gap and the second one also keep 12 mm and the outer distance from midpoint should be 36 mm and this distance make little bigger 10.016 mm ok and you know, one more distance select this gap thickness 0.5 mm ok now this two geometry created exit now hide these two planes plane 1 and plane 2 now this third plane we need to create a path in third plane so select third plane sketch normal choose here spline and select this second point and select this bottom line point exit now just tilt it and you can see easily here see this point merge here and this point merge in bottom line now simply exit now hide this plane now see now let's try select this path go to feature and select lifted boss base now see this is the guideline curve guideline 
this curve guideline already selected here is sketch 4 now select the profiles so select this top edge and select the second top edge again clear it's uh, rotating i don't know it's maybe the it's select ok now see now we want to cut some here it is looking very sharp so select this front plane uh, this face plane sketch now select three center point up start from origin point and draw a curve exit select line and draw a geometry to just want to cut the extra faces let's define the radius 35.81 mm ok then this outer part is extra we no, no need to make dimension select extruded cut this extra part we need to cut 17 mm or keep bigger ok now see it curves it's become a curve now we want to make multiple number of patterns so select here lifted boss and cut select this circular face we need 8 number of equal spacing ok see choose fillet 0.5 select this face ok now just turn around select the back surface and here we want to make a hole so keep the hole now select it this uh, right side uh, left side you can choose here 14.5 mm radius ok now select extruded cut and make the depth 16 mm because this already 17 mm this outer dia ok now this is the propeller for PC fan let's assign the material go to plastic choose high gloss plastic and we prefer high red high gloss see if you need to change color ah, ok this looking bright ok so now save this propeller desktop create one folder PC fan and make the part number one propeller let's save now let's make the next part case body of PC fan now here let's make the next part housing PC fan housing so choose front plane sketch draw a vertical center line ok now let's select line exit now let's define 135 mm 6 mm 4 mm twelve point seventy four mm 
okay select mirror entity and select these three parts and just mirror about against this center line okay now just check the mid gap okay it should be 20 mm select here offset entities select 2.5 mm okay select choose line and close the both the end exit select the smart dimension and define the distance from center point to upper line 39.75 mm see here ok select here center line and draw a horizontal center line go to feature select revolve boss base select this horizontal line as a axis now see this is the our geometry select the face a sketch normal select center rectangle okay now let's define this gap 79.5 mm or just delete and uh, make relation we will make one relation important relation equal ok now the geometry is fully defined again choose rectangle and draw a bigger rectangle now select extruded cut so this mid portion we want to cut choose here through all ok now see now select this face sketch normal now here we want to complete close this passage now define this gap 1 mm this one make sure it's up to here ok now select extruded boss select reverse direction choose up to surface select this as a surface ok or let's say up to next up to next ok see it's closed now we will close this all four side with the help of circular pattern choose our last extruded boss select here any circular face keep four numbers equal spacing ok now see this all side closed now the same side <coughs> let's try to mirror either possible or not mirror select here extruded feature okay okay that's it it's already mirror you can see now here we want to create some planes create one plane uh, axis center axis now choose front plane plane select this axis and select 45 degree let's say flip direction ok 
now select this plane a sketch normal and here we will i will draw a center line let's define the gap <coughs> 48.5mm exit now select this plane plane select this axis and see it should be perpendicular see here perpendicular to this this plane okay now select this plane a sketch normal now here we will create one geometry corner rectangle again choose corner rectangle and start from this line now let's define the gap 0.5 mm okay and drag it and make one relation better draw a center line now select the center line and this two lines concentric now it is in center position okay now here you can see select extruded boss up to next you can select up to next merge result okay now see now just hide the plane hide both the planes now hide this geometry also now we will make four number of patterns so choose circular pattern see here pattern already selected and select here this center axis four number or you can select this circular face okay now see now select this face sketch normal and select circle and draw one circle here let's keep the diameter 3 mm 2.5 2.5 okay and select extruded cut select here through all okay now choose fillet and define the fillet let's set radius 2 mm select both the ends okay now just try to mirror uh, make multiple number of patterns select this axis as a center point now here select hole as well as fillet so we will revolve or we will make four number of patterns 360 degree geometry pattern okay now see now here we will reduce something select this radius edit Three point five, three point five, and four mm. Exit. Now select this fillet. Edit. Keep three mm. Okay. Now see the holes become bigger. Okay. 
Now select the back surface sketch. First draw a circle. Let's keep the diameter thirty three mm. Okay. Choose select up to this exit now select this line this all four lines convert entities choose again a line exit now select both the lines and make relation parallel choose a line escape we should select this path let's say this path both should be parallel okay now the same way directly click select both the lines make relation parallel we can drag it here little okay i don't know why it's not selecting up to this line select this from this line to this line parallel let's define the gap three mm in both okay now it's time to trim trim this in internal lines okay choose fillet keep radius 1 mm and select this all end points select okay now select extruded boss uncheck thickness or choose trim entity and trim this outer lines okay now let's try extrude boss select reverse direction 3.5 mm okay now see again select this face sketch and make a hole here let's keep the diameter 8 mm okay and select extruded cut cut through all 
okay now select this face sketch normal let's select circle and draw a circle up to this line exit choose a line connect with this line parallel again select okay extrude up to end point let's try to make the gap 1 mm 1 mm okay now select a line keep vertical select both the lines collinear and here also you can define 1 mm 1.5 mm one2 mm okay now select Uh, make one relation equal i think no possible so just try to make this outer dia i think it is fixed here oh, no problem we will fix with this point now it's time to cut select this face one point five mm only okay now you can see now select the inside face sketch normal corner rectangle extruded cut we want to cut through all okay this is the passage for cable that's it now let's make the fillet Point two mm. Select this face. Okay. Now hide this temporary axis. Okay. select this face sketch first draw a center line choose corner rectangle now let's define the dimension 
थर्टीन पॉइंट फाइव एम एम थर्टीन पॉइंट फाइव एम एम ओके नाउ सेलेक्ट एक्सक्लूडेड बॉस चूज अप टू नेक्स्ट ओके नाउ सी दिस इज द बेस so this is the our main housing now let's try to make material uh go to plastic and select textured plastic it's up to you which plastic you like to prefer this is looking nice okay so this is the our plastic now let's save this part part 2 housing now let's start the assembly of housing and fan now here let's start the assembly of pc fan choose new assembly okay this is the window of solid works assembly let's browse the our parts first choose housing then propeller open okay propeller came first right click and see okay this is let's float the first part and let fix okay the housing is fixed so we will fix oh okay choose mat reverse okay now browse it here select this face and this face coincide now this is in perfect position okay now see this is the assembly of fan now we will see how to animate this assembly see it is rotating so just do one thing first save the assembly save save now right click on this tab choose motion manager motion study just first select motor uh, here select first motion analysis now choose here motor now i will select this propeller circular face and i prefer atr atr rpm motion select here okay now just calculate see it is rotating now click on this animation wizard cancel it just down and uh, choose exploded view select this face out okay select this face i think this okay this again select exploded view select here Two, five, finish. Again, choose whole wizard collapse. Next, two. Here, select seven, finish. Now let's play. Calculate. Now see the fan is coming out and going back. 
play. So this is the our sim. Now after saving this animation, uh, we want to save it. So how to save it? Let's see. Just click on save. Choose here file anywhere, desktop or anything. AV AVI file is screenshot, and I prefer 16 by 9 inch, and frame 25. I prefer save. Uncheck this frame key. Okay. Now it will first calculate, and it will save in your destiny, and you can play it directly. It is very easy. I hope you like it. Please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SolidWorks. Don't forget to share and like our videos. Thanks for watching.